It's Madden NFL 24. And if it's in the game, it's in the game. It's the Vikings and the Cards. And it's coming up next. Just about time to rock as Toe gets ready to meet Leather. And we are underway here on EA Sports. And he will make it to the 20-yard line and no further. The Cardinals now getting set to go offensively, and it'll be the dual-threat quarterback, Kyler Murray, leading the way. Drafted with the idea that he'd be one of the most dangerous quarterbacks in the NFL when he put it all together. We've been seeing that progress throughout his career. This guy's legs, we knew they were phenomenal. Arm, top notch. But now we're seeing his mind come into the game. Reed's defense is better and better each and every week and is showing patience as a passer as well. Not as eager to exit the pocket, finding guys downfield for bigger plays. So much for coming out throwing as it leads to an early second down and long. Murray gonna throw. And that one's going to be off target and incomplete. And this drive is almost over before it began, thanks to a great defensive effort. Sack on first down, followed by an incompletion. One more good rep, and they get off the field. Screen pass to Connor. Shrugs the tackle. Nice. And he's going to get this to about the 20, but that is well short of what he needed. Blake Gillikin on to punt now on fourth down. They'll look to set up his blockers. A 48-yard punt, seven on the return. And it will be Vikings ball, first and 10. So out comes this offense to take over for the first time. And led out by the rookie. Expectations high here as he's making his first NFL start. For every rookie prospect, there are always nerves involved in this moment. Running your team out to start a game. But there's a reason they brought him in. We're willing to make him their starter today. They believe he can overcome those nerves and lead his team to a victory. We saw him do it at the collegiate level, and really make himself into a leader and someone you can envision doing the exact same thing here in the NFL. 16 yards right off the bat and a first down. But there you go, Charles, the first completed pass of his young career. And we expect it not to be his last. Very good to get the first one out of the way, though, as he begins his career. Now the man from UTEP, this is Aaron Jones. And he'll get this into enemy territory, but not by much as he's down to the 48. Now second and nine. They'll look to throw. Going underneath, he's got Hawkinson. Takes this to the 45, not much space after that broken tackle. And I'll lead the 39 here for a first. This is third down. to throw. Throw it across his body and it's intercepted. Jalen Thompson picks it and the Cards are going to get the football here at their own 40-yard line. That's not one that he's going to want to remember, but he had to get it out of the way at some point, his first career interception. And if he's the guy that they think he is, he's not laughing it off, but he's also not going to let it affect him as the game proceeds. He's going to go back out there, still be the same confident kid, the reason that they drafted him and go out and play. So good field position for the Cardinals as they come up first and 10 at the 40. Able to get this one to McBride. And the play goes nowhere. Losing yardage back near the 40 at the 39. Brings up second and 11 at the 39-yard line. Throwing now is Murray. That's complete to Michael Wilson. So the completion results there in nine yards. And this will wind up being a third and three. First carry for James Conner. And he's got the first down yardage as he takes it down to the 49. Three yards there, good enough to keep the drive moving. We all love to have a home run hitter in the back. 
Mayfield guy can take him the distance, but a short yardage trying to pick up first downs, that big guy, always a nice luxury to have, isn't he? First down, Murray. Looking middle, and that's complete. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Second and a couple. Murray a give. This is Connor. And here he'll be brought down a little shy of the 35 at the 36. A gain of five. Good enough for the first down. Now Murray. The throw here right sideline falls incomplete. They'll try again from the 36 on second and 10. Out of the gun, here's Murray. Throwing quickly there, but it's incomplete. Troy McBride, the target on that throw. And now it's third down. Here's Murray as he sets to throw it. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And this is going to turn into another first down as the tackle is made at the Vikings 19. 17 yards on the pickup there, and the drive will continue. But one of the ways the quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field, and here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. That's to McBride, and he has it. Touchdown, Cardinals. From 19 yards away. And the Cards take the early turnover and convert it into an opening touchdown. Their first passing touchdown of the ball game, and they go to the big tight end in those sure hands, and he provides the score. So they looked like they were focused on taking away other weapons, and he certainly made them regret that because he found the soft spot, ended up taking it to the end zone. Nice throw, too, to complete the play. PAT up and good by Rosas. And that makes the score 7-0. The Cardinals set now to kick this one away, and off we go. And this will not be returned. It's a touchback, and they'll begin at the 25. The Vikings taking the field here for their second drive of the game. They threw an interception the first time they had the football, wound up leading to a touchdown the other way. How do you approach drive number two? Going back to your game plan coming in, everyone has matchups that they like better than others, or they think they have an advantage. Dial up some of those plays. Try and go to those spots and get your offense moving. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. They're going to look to throw. He's got his tight end over the middle, T.J. Hawkinson. And from the 25, they work this to the 29, a gain of four. Here's third and six. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. And that one goes incomplete on the drop. That's what he definitely normally catches, fourth down. So they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away. And here's a fair catch taken at about the 24-yard line. So possession goes over here on the punt, and the Cards will take over first and 10. They begin on the ground here with Connor. And some space here. And this is going to be a Cardinals first down as he's able to get this up to the 37-yard line. Counting down toward the midway point in corner one. Murray now on first down. A short one here caught by McBride. And a five-yard gain gets him to the 42. Now second and five. Brings up second and five. Here's Murray. He'll get this to Connor underneath. And yeah, he'll work free from one tackle, but that's about all as he's taken down. Third and four. Brings up third and four. Here's Murray. He'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. And he maybe makes it back to the line of scrimmage. That's it. Here's Blake Gillikin now. And the 
Davis is going to hit the goal line and continue on into the end zone for a touchback. At their own 20-yard line. They'll start the drive with a carry by Jones. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. A gain of 11 to kick off the drive, and it's a quick first down. A gain of 11 on the play. And the Vikings first They'll look to throw here. Slant route, and he's got Anderson. On the move past the 40. And finally taken down at the 35-yard line. It's a gain of 34. So that changes things a bit. Here's a first and 10 all the way down at the 35. They'll set up a throw. Going underneath, he's got Hawkinson. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. Now a first down carry by Jones. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. He'll look to throw. And he's got it. Touchdown, Vikings. T.J. Hawkinson from 21 yards away. And the Vikings are an extra point away from evening this one up. Extra point right down the middle. And we are tied at seven. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. Here's Carter now on the return. And he will be brought down here inside the 20. Good coverage as he's dropped at the 17. Murray and the Cardinals with a first and 10 at their own 17-yard line. They'll try and start this drive in the air. That's into the hands of Pascal. So give him five yards there on the pitch and catch. And it's second down. To throw is Murray. Give him seven on the tuck and run, and it'll give him a new set of downs. So first and ten now from the 30. Murray now to throw. His throw incomplete. Here's second and ten. It's now second and ten at the 30 yard line. They'll fake it to Connor. Now Murray. The Vikings after him, and they get there for the sack. Now that last sack puts Murray and the cards in a tough spot. Third and long. Now back to throw. And this is going to be incomplete. One first down here, and that's all, folks. Good work by this defense to hold things in check and force a punting situation. And he's getting a workout here in this first quarter as he gets it away. That's taken on the 25. That's a 49-yard punt. Eight, though, on the return. And the Vikings will take over here first and 10. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. Firing quickly, but it's incomplete. Well, we keep stats on everything, don't we? This is one that you don't want to have. That's his second drop right here in the first quarter. Yeah, I was going to say, only in the first quarter. Certainly a shift that he wants to write quickly. They get six. That'll leave him with third and four. Another completion there. And you think about the draft back in the spring. He's selected in the first round, getting the start here, as we mentioned, in week one. It's got to be quite a whirlwind for a young quarterback. Absolutely, because going in the first round, people don't climb up for you to be the starter right away, but many teams want you to get your feet wet first, you know, maybe just kind of hang out behind a veteran starter. In this case, though, he ascended right to the top role, and I know he's excited about the opportunity. It'll be a 40-yard punt, eight on the return, and they will take over first and ten. To throw, it's Murray. A short one here, caught by McBride. A minimal gain as we tick down inside of a minute remaining in the opening quarter. From the 29, here's a second and seven. At the 29 yard line. Connor up the middle. Yeah, he'll fight for a couple as the tackle is made at about the 32. 
Brandon, one thing about blitzes, they really confuse offensive linemen at times. And what you have to do is lock in on the guy right in front of you. If you don't, you saw the end result. Defensive tackle end up making the play. And he's going to be brought down on what will be the final play of this first quarter. These two teams all tied after one. Back in Arizona, second quarter action. It's the Cardinals in possession. On first and ten, here's Murray. Can't get away, and he's taken down. The sack recorded. It's a loss of five, and now it's second down. Brings up second and 15 at the 39-yard line. Murray going to throw. A uh, short one here caught by McBride. So five yards here, five on the play. And that's going to set up a tough third and nine. Murray now. That's going to back him up almost a full 10 yards. It's going to be a loss of nine officially, and it's fourth down. Blake Gillikin on to punt here as he'll send this one away. And no one there to stop it. Hits at the eight, but it carries all the way into the end zone for a touchback. They go play action here on first down. There's Jefferson to pull that in. And they work this well upfield across the 45. So one play, and they're already just shy of midfield. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. He's going to find Jefferson open downfield. And he'll cross over out of bounds right at the 25. Now a handoff, running left is Jones. And a strong run there as he'll maneuver his way down inside the 15. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. They'll look to throw. Finding Hawkinson here on the out route. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little gain. Four yards to go on second down from the seven. Out of the gun, they'll look to throw. And it's intercepted at the goal line. Picked up by Kaiser Wright. And the Cardinals are going to have it here at their own nine-yard line. After the turnover, here's Murray. Oh, tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Byron Murphy. And they are going to take over right there at the 22-yard line. Trying to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. Out route to Jefferson, and he's got it. That's good. The completion there for seven yards, and it'll be second down. Brings up second and three at the 15-yard line. Here's a give to Jones running left. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Minnesota. Aaron Jones, 15 yards. And the Vikings have taken the lead. Extra point splits the uprights, and that makes the score 14 to 7. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. No return here for Carter, and this will be a touchback. For the football back in the hands of the Arizona Cardinals. That 7 0 lead of theirs short lived as they've now given up two straight touchdowns to fall behind by seven. Yeah, but no cause for discouragement here. Yeah, they've fallen behind, but haven't they proven that they can go down and score? So, what was the formula to get them down there the first time? Get back to something close to that, and maybe they can get this game tied up. Second down, Murray sets to throw. Going right back to Wilson. Two yards, good enough for a first. Throwing now is Murray. And some room to roam now. No one there to help out downfield, but no problems. 
scrambling for 22 in the first. They run behind center with counter. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. That play wasn't quite as big as the play that preceded it, but still, got to like the way they're moving the football part now. Absolutely. Pretty good room to run on that last play. Yeah, they didn't get a first down, but still, you'll take runs like that each and every time, won't you? Just a yard on the pick up there, and it'll leave them with a third and three. A game yard brings up third and three. Shotgun now from Murray. And he's going to go down. They get to him back at the 40. And now that brings up fourth down there, a loss of six yards on the sack. On oh, is the punt team now as this one sent away. And no return here. Where will they spot it? They say just outside the 20-yard line. Here's Aaron Jones in the offense trotting back out. He's over 40 yards here in the second quarter. Been nice and effective for them, hasn't he? He has definitely been dependable and really shouldn't underestimate what he's getting done here because anytime you're on a pace that's going to approach 100 yards, you've really done some damage in an NFL game. And now he's looking just to add to his totals. At the 26-yard line. Second and six. Over the middle and complete to Addison. Call it a gain of six on the play. And they'll be faced with a third and inches. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. Oh, they would have gotten the conversion if he could hold on. Instead, the drop means it'll be fourth down. And here's Ryan right now as he's on to punt for Minnesota. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. Fielded at the 20. A 46-yard punt, four-yard return. And that will come the offense as they take over. Murray and the Cardinals with a first and 10 at their own 24. He'll start the drive with a give to Connor. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. A three-yard loss to start the drive. They'll look to make that up and then some on second and 13. Here's Murray as he sets to throw it. Now the pressure comes and he goes down. Just inside the 10, back at the 9. Well, that last sack puts Murray and the cards in a tough spot. Third and long. He'll drop to throw. And that is incomplete. But the pressure there on third down, forcing the errant pass. Fourth down coming up. Here comes the Cardinals punter now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. He's averaging just under 50 yards of punt as he gets this away. And now a fair catch called for and taken just outside the 40-yard line. So a change of possession here on the punt. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. They'll come out throwing here on first down. A quick throw, but incomplete. After the incomplete pass here now is second and 10. They'll set up to throw. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Powell. That'll leave him with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. And unable to connect. If he had caught it, it would have been a first down. Instead, it's fourth. And here's Ryan right now. They'll boot it away from about his 35. This is away, but boy, headed straight for the sidelines. And they'll play keep away from the returner as this one will be marked out of bounds at the 13-yard line. Pretty good spot. Murray and the Cardinals with a first and 10 at their own 13. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw. And that one drops down incomplete. Good coverage there, forced the ball free, and it's second down. Now Murray. A short one here caught by McBride. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. To throw is Murray. 
He'll get this to Connor underneath. And he is going to have a Cardinals first down by a couple of yards as they're able to convert here on third and three. Out of the shotgun, they'll run with Connor. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. The last play got just a yard. Here's second and nine from the 26. Here's Murray. And a completion to Wilson. And brought down, but not before reaching the 45-yard line. So after two first downs, they get another here. First and 10 at the 45. Murray now running left off the option. And he's got it across the midfield strike and into Viking territory. We've hit the two-minute mark in the second quarter, 14 to 7. Coming up at halftime, I'll go from one personality, that's you, Charles Davis, to another one in Orlando, the coach. He'll have stats and scores from around the NFL. You and Jonathan Coachman, both larger than life. No doubt about it. And you're stuck with me in this booth. <laughs> yes, and he's I miles am. away and smiling. And happy. Murray now to throw. Able to get this one to McBride. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. Murray now on first down. Goes right back to McBride. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And that'll leave him with a second and just a few inches left. 10 yards on the pickup. It's second Murray now. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. I'm really liking what I'm seeing from this defense because their coverage has been playing at a shutdown level so far. Even backed up late. They're forcing incompletions and fighting to keep them out of the end zone as the first half winds down. The Cardinals going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop them with a little over 30 seconds to go in the first half of play. Now the Cards going to call another timeout, their second, as they stop it with 28 seconds to go in the first half of play. And that is caught. Touchdown, Cardinals. Michael Wilson, a seven-yard touchdown grab. And the Cardinals are an extra point away from tying the ball game here in the final minute of the first half. Rosas good with the extra point, and that is going to tie our game as we approach halftime. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. Kenny Nwagu now out of his end zone. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Costs him about five yards as he's tackled it to 20. A little over 20 seconds remaining in the half as they'll line up here first and 10. They'll try and start this drive in the air. This one caught. It's the tight end, Hawkinson. The Vikings going to signal for the first of their timeouts. So as they talk it over, we step aside. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. Up the middle, Jones. And he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. Now a timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. Under pressure again, and down he goes again. And this offense going to like to burn a timeout with five seconds remaining in quarter number two. And he's going to miss this one. Now it's no good. Well outside the left upright. And this game will remain tied here in quarter number two. Boy, Brandon, a missed opportunity there at the end of this first half. You'd love to give your guys a lead going into the break, but this effort doesn't find the mark, and that's going to keep things all square. A final shot before half for Murray. This one finds Wilson downfield. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. So we've reached halftime. It looks like we'll have to wait another week to get our first halftime report of the season as we move right along to the second half. And we welcome you.
welcome you back now alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn getting set for quarter number three here. And the half will begin with a touchback. Out come the Vikings. They'll have it first on offense as we begin the third. This offense ready for the first drive of the third quarter. Well, quarters number one and two entertaining. We saw some good offense points put up, Charles, and all tied on the scoreboard. And it sets us up for what could be a really fun second half because we've seen both sides score almost at will here in the first half. And now, here in the second half, getting the ball first, you've got to think, hey, we can go out and really run our offense the way we did in the first half. But if I'm a defensive player, all I'm thinking is, can I make a play to really help out my team and break this streak of offense? So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. They're going to look to throw. And he'll just toss it away. So he throws it away, and that brings up fourth down. And here's Ryan right now as he's on for the fifth time here today. Fair catch called for and made right at the 25-yard line. So possession goes over here on the punt, and the Cards will take over first and 10. They start with a give to Connor. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. To throw, it's Murray. And he'll slide to a halt here. Still a little shy of the first down marker. He turned that into a nice game. Gets him eight yards closer for third down. Here's Murray. Screen pass to Connor. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Murray giving to Connor on the option. And he'll manage to pick up about four in second down. And result of that one, a nice four-yard gain. So you can use that to set up your play-action game, or you can come right back and continue to run the football because as an offensive play caller, you're on schedule and feeling pretty good about your next couple of calls. And that's good for a gain of six, and that's going to make it third down and less than a yard. Play fake, Murray. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And this is going to turn into another first down as the tackle is made at the Vikings 21. Murray going to throw. And a loose football. And the Vikings pick up the football. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. They'll try and get the running game going with Jones. And a nice job to break free of one tackle, but it slowed his momentum somewhat, and he's taken down right after. Second and nine. They'll look to throw here. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. You can tell they wanted to get that ball down. Nothing working in the secondary, so he dropped it off to the running back. That one ended up incomplete. On third down, he'll drop to throw. Hard throw, incomplete. So it doesn't look like they're going to be able to build off the turnover. Well, the defense certainly did its part. It got them the football. But you're exactly right. It looks like they're going to have to punt this one away. And it's not a turnover, but doesn't it feel like one after grabbing the momentum with the defensive play? Yeah, and they had all that momentum after getting the football, and now zapped right back in the other direction. Murray and the Cardinals with a first and 10 at their own 43. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And he goes out of bounds. It looks like right at the 50. Second down and four. Here's Murray from midfield. A good throw here, finding Pascal. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. So from the 36 now, first and 10. 
Throwing now is Murray. Caught. It's Wilson. They'll wind up getting just a yard out of it, and it's second down. As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. Out of the gun, here's Murray. He's got McBride here over the middle. And this is going to turn into another first down as the tackle is made at the Vikings' 13-yard line. Second and inches. Now Connor on the toss left side. And he'll go backwards, losing yardage to the five. This will be play number seven on the drive. Third and a yard. To throw is Murray. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. This Minnesota D up to the task on the third down pass play. Rosas' kick is good, and they take a 17-14 lead. So, CB, maybe put a pin in that one as this game progresses. It's a field goal that gets in the lead here in the third, but, boy, you hate settling for three when you're that close to the goal line. Well, it certainly pains me to say it, but I do think it was the right call. Now, if they lose, you and I both know that'd be one of the things that gets second guessed. Why didn't you go for it on fourth and goal? But I know the mindset was take the points, get the lead. And, by the way, if they went for it and got stuck, they'd second guess that, too. They'll come out throwing here on first down. Going underneath, he's got Hawkinson. They'll wind up getting seven on the play, and it'll be second down. A seven-yard pickup brings up second and three. At the 29 yard line. On play action, they'll throw. And he's going to be intercepted for the third time thus far. And his guys are going to take over at the 34-yard line. First and ten, and they've got three tight ends out there. A jumbo package look. This is Connor running right. Down to about the 32. We caught a lot of games, but we don't normally talk about inside linebackers being that fleet of foot, do we? No, he, he was able to get outside there to make that play. Yeah, and you know what makes them faster? Their ability to read plays, understand what offenses are trying to do, and put themselves in proper position. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. Here's Murray. Over the middle complete. It's McBride. The result only four yards there on the play. And that'll bring up second down. Murray now to throw. Oh, he dropped it. They were looking for him in the middle third. He couldn't catch it. Now third down. Cameron Bynum there defensively. Here's Murray as he sets to throw it. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Connor. Touchdown! James Connor from 13 yards out. And the Cardinals are able to add on to that lead. PAT up and good by Rosas. And his guys will take a 10-point lead. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. Taken at the goal line. And he'll get it up across the 20 to the 21-yard line. And now out comes Minnesota. They're down now 24-14. Work to do as they come up on a first and 10. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked up by Sean Murphy Bunting. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Intercepted. The Cardinals take over first and 10. 
from the gun to give to Connor. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Brings up second and 11 at the 34-yard line. Now Murray. And it's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. Well, they were handed great starting field position on this drive, but now they face a third and four. Murray now. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he is going to have a Cardinals first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Shotgun now for Murray. And it's caught over the middle. Wilson. Touchdown, Cardinals. Michael Wilson already his second touchdown here in this opening weekend. And the Cardinals are looking good here in the season opener as they're able to extend their lead. Rosas good with the extra point. And that'll make this a three-score game now. The lead moves to 17. This taken in right around the goal line. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. Minnesota's offense takes over possession. I kind of feel like they've reached a do-or-die point in this game, Charles. If they're going to try to pull off an impressive comeback, it has to start right here, right now. Yeah, now they've got a final chance to get out of this situation, but they also understand they've got to move the ball and move it fast. In addition, they need to save as much time so they can get two more possessions. Back to throw here. Throw to the right, held in by Addison. And just three yards on the catch there. He couldn't get away. And they're going to be staring at a third and long here. They'll look to throw. And the pressure will bring it down here. The Cardinals get home for the sack. And here's Ryan right now. Standing about a yard deep in his own end zone. And no return on this one as the fair catch is signaled for and taken. Arizona's offense back out and ready to go. And now you've got the clock winding down here in the third quarter. Your three scores to the good. What's your approach on this drive? Too early to fully commit to playing the clock game. Yet, at the same time, you're also not going pell-mell like you would in two-minute offense. This is what NFL offense is called, four-minute football. Take the clock out of the game a little bit, wind it down, but at the same time, keep advancing the ball down the field. On first and ten is counter. Shoves him aside. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little game. From the 32-yard line now, here's second and three. To throw, it's Murray. He'll dump this one off to Connor. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Here's Murray. And they're not able to hook up there. Incomplete. Offense was moving it a little bit, had them back on their heels, but they earned a brief pause by forcing the incompletion. That gives them a quick chance to regroup and try to mount a stand before they're backed up even further. Meanwhile, Murray's throw complete to McBride. And he'll go out of bounds inside the 15-yard line. The Cardinal passing game dialed in now. First down. And while we may be looking at the scoreboard, this offense certainly is not because they're showing no signs of backing down, even with a three-score lead here in the third quarter. I think they keep taking their shots. They've seen blown leads happen throughout this league. They don't want to fall victim to it themselves. So left side hauled in by McBride. And he'll go down, and that will do it for the third quarter of action. We are through three quarters here on NFL Kickoff Weekend. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Welcome back to the desert. We're in Glendale. Second and four. They could still get a first down without scoring. It's Cardinal football. They're also out in front of the scoreboard as we get set for the fourth. 
And he's brought down right at the five-yard line. Give him two on the play. They're trying to keep the drive going. This will be play number eight. It's third and two. Murray going to throw. That's to McBride, and he has it. Touchdown, Cardinals. A great play there. Already his second touchdown here in this opening weekend. And the Cardinals are closing in on a winning start to the year as they extend their fourth quarter lead. Rosas now to add the PAT. And he's been a busy man, five for five now, as he knocks another one through to extend the lead. So that drive goes eight plays. And it was capped off by a touchdown reception from Trey McBride. No run back here, down to a knee, and this drive will start at the 25. The Vikings offense now, they get ready to head back on the field. See if they can put this drive in the end zone, Charles, because it, it's been a little bit of a rough go at times. They've had to punt the football a ton in this ball game because of stalled out drives. So are you saying that you're kind of tired of seeing the punter run out there and do his thing during this game? Is that what you're trying to say? You, well, I mean, I'm okay with it. I have a feeling that this offense, they don't want to see the punter again. And frankly, the punter doesn't want to run out there anymore himself. He would love to see his offense put together a drive and give his leg a rest. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. 19 yards to pick up there. Move the chains. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and 10. Now this throw caught left side. And he's able to get this one down to the 40-yard line. So on the other side of the field now, it's first and 10 as they've got things rolling on this drive. Again, he'll drop to throw. Fighting Hawkinson here on the out route. And he's taken down inside the 30. 11 more on that one and another first down. And inside give to Jones. Well, you hate that defensively. They had him pretty well corralled, but the face mask, that obviously changes things. Yeah, it's a bit frustrating because you feel like you did everything right. You had him stop, but the hand gets up just a little too high, and the natural inclination is to hold on, and that's going to get called every time. Now a throw to the end zone on first down, but it winds up incomplete. This has obviously been a bad loss, but one of the few things they can still do is try to throw the ball all the way to the end zone and get some points on the board so they're not shut out over the final two quarters of this game. Another throw on second down, and this one incomplete as well. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have them looking at third and ten. They'll look to throw again. throws it away, and that keeps the field goal on the table as it's fourth down. As expected, they're going for it to keep the drive alive. And that is incomplete. The Vikings unable to convert here on fourth, and the Cardinal defense is going to get the football back. So the defense has to stay out and get one more stop. They were able to do it, forcing the incompletion. So on their record, that goes down as a successful play. It doesn't matter how they got there, how it happened. They got it done. They're the ones that are jubilant. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. Second down and eight. Again, it's Connor. They follow up the gain of two with a gain of one that time. That's it. That's what you want. Straight ahead, positive gain. Just keep that clock ticking. On third down, it's Connor. So he fought off the tackle, and that effort gives him the first before he's brought down. First down. First down, 
Here's a handoff to Connor. Now he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Now they contend with a second and 12 after the loss. Second and 12 at the 22 yard line. They'll fake it to Connor. Now Murray. Oh, Pascal able to haul that one in. And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. Altogether, a pretty shaky start to the year for this defense as they defend another first and 10. Murray again, this is Connor. And they're going to stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Just no cutback lane to be found whatsoever. Second and 10. Second and 10 at the 38 yard line. They fake the handoff. Now Murray. He's got his tight end McBride on the out route. And out of bounds on the other side of midfield at the 45. From Viking territory now. They'll come up first and 10 at the 45-yard line. On the handoff, Connor. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. A three-yard pickup brings up second and seven. They run with Connor. And very little there. He might have gotten a yard. Yeah, I think he got a yard to the 41. And they'll need to get to the 35 if they want to keep this drive going on third down. To throw is Murray. And this is going to turn into another first down as the tackle is made at the Vikings' 22-yard line. Here's Murray, a quick throw complete. And he was able to shed one tackle, but could not get away from there. Second down and six now. A give running right is counter. And he'll get this one down to about the 17. Only a yard of the pickup there, and it'll bring up a third down. A gain of a yard brings up third and five. Now a handoff coming left, Connor. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. So another third down conversion, and now they've got a first and goal. Throwing now is Murray. And he is going to go down, back at the 11-yard line. Give that sack to Harrison Phillips, the big man. This offensive line flat out cannot handle this pass rush. We've seen it demonstrated time and time again to the tune of seven sacks in this game thus far. Second down, Murray sets to throw. He's got his man. It's caught the end zone. Touchdown, Arizona. Well, Charles, no matter what the prognosticators say before the season, whether they think you're going to be good, bad, or somewhere in the middle, you never quite know how week one is going to play out. But for them, it has been an impressive performance, and they are well on their way to a 1-0 start. Yeah, it's a lot like opening up presents, isn't it, partner? You're not quite sure what's inside, but you're hopeful, right? In this case, exactly what they were looking for, exactly what they need. Now the Minnesota offense set to take over again. They've got some stuff to build on from that last drive because they moved the football CD and then they tried to go for it on fourth down, didn't convert, probably left a bit of taste in their mouths. I would say so, and I think that they go out in this series determined for that not to happen again. In fact, they don't even want to get to a fourth down opportunity. They just want to make sure they get it done within the parameters that they've set for themselves. Run their offense, get it into the end zone. Yeah, I think a little bit of determination and a dash of anger. 18 more yards there and another first down. A gain of 18 on the play. First down, Minnesota. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. Out of the backfield, this is Aaron Jones. And taking it to the 15-yard line before he's brought down. Line of scrimmage, the 15. It's first and 10. Back to throw again. Oh, he dropped it. And that's pretty indicative of the way this one's gone. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. And he comes back with one complete. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three.
Looking to throw. And he is going to be taken down. They got him. As that is going to take us to the two-minute warning. The defense rising to the challenge and setting him back on the sack. And his kick here is good. And now they'll just need four touchdowns as the deficit is now 28. So he splits the uprights and has to be a nice feeling. Right when it left his foot, knew it was good. Yeah, just like a good three-point shooter in basketball, right? Release the ball, fall back on defense without even looking. You know it's going in the hoop. Here's Carter now on the return. And good coverage there on special teams as they'll get him down shy of the 20. There's James Conner now as he trots back onto the field. And really a lot of guys you could highlight on this offense with how well they've played, but he's one of them. He's been spectacular so far. I'd say he'd be the number one, wouldn't you? Yeah. Because it's not just the numbers. It's, as you said, I think he's a focal point. Well, that's what he's been, and that means he's created other opportunities because they've had to bring the defense to him. He's run it really well. He's caught it out of the backfield. They're trying to stop him. That means there are chances for the rest of the guys to do damage themselves. And he's brought down at the 24 after a gain of four. The tackle made at the 24-yard line. That's a gain of four. Brings up third and five. Now Murray. Screen pass to Connor. And the broken tackle helps lead to a first down game. He'll get nine out of that one, and as a result, the drive continues. Well, CD, always a little extra excitement for week one and one of our.